Isolation Nation. The air is still broken. And this is not good. I have not slept. I have not moved. I have lost 17 pounds of sweat, so that's the positive. Uh, welcome to Social Distancing Social Club. Uh, so good. So good to be with you on account of I'm still alive. I've made it through another night. Day three of extreme heat. And 100 degree heats inside the house. Heats, the heats are getting me. We got the heats. Uh, it's gonna be a fun show, though. I'll tell you that much. I need the rejuvenating <laughs> energy that SDSC brings into my soul. I can't wait. And uh, nobody makes me feel more alive than my redheaded angel. Please welcome <laughs> the second leg of the four-legged tripod that makes up the quarantine, Steve Huffstetter. Hello, everyone. I got a confession to make, Ben. Um, I sabotage your air conditioning. I just thought some sort of change of pace would make you make a sound check, and I, w I was wrong. I was wrong. wrong. <laughs> you were very wrong, Steve. I'm on the brink of death. But other than that, how are you? <laughs> uh, doing, uh, doing pretty well, comparatively. Anyway, if you want to support the show, please do so. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at SDSCshow.com, or, of course, you can Super Chat. Uh, Facebook stars, all that stuff, kick in a little bit for Ben to afford a fan. Um, I don't mean like a, like an oscillating fan. I mean like someone who watches his stuff other than Carmel. Uh, and with that, please welcome. I uh, thought I'd get more of a laugh from Bowers on that, but I was wrong. So uh, now I'm going to confront him on camera. Chris Bowers, everybody. Chris Bowers. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. That's a funny joke. I like that. I <laughs> contemplate the fact that I could lose 17 pounds in two days if I just turned off the air conditioning. In fact, what have I been doing this my whole life? I should have just been doing this the whole time. <laughs> I'd be under 250, and Ben wouldn't be haunted in his nightmares with me jumping into a pool. Anyway, uh, why I'm again? Why did you do it again? <laughs> Damn it! I just love putting things you don't like in your head in your head. Well, that sounded worse than it meant to. Uh, anyway, I'm excited that we're here. Uh, it's Saturday. It's, it's Saturday. I got sparkly jacket on. Uh, I'm excited. Queen Rachel, uh, have you recovered from yesterday with all? Oh shit! No, she hasn't. She's still. <laughs> Only fans, oh, armpits account. Sorry. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Out of the gate. I've recovered. I'm great. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like it. All right. It was a good oh, show. Oh, Bowers, look what I did. Yeah. Didn't you Ooh. say that only psycho crazy girls have fucked up nails? No, no. What I said was. <laughs> what, I said, what I said was. When you. Generally, it doesn't happen always, but it is when you see someone with messed up nail polish, generally the rest of their life is also kind of a wreck. Like if Ben wore nail polish, it would be fucked up constantly. That is my <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, just wait, wait, Rachel. So you purposefully like took the nail polish, and you were just like, nah, 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 nah. nah. I so had it. You just and like then I dip was gonna... your fingers in and just shake them like Jackson Pollock on a like. What did you do? <laughs> I I painted them, and then I was gonna repaint them, and I I have just been letting them chip away for two three days uh, to just show Bowers. I don't know. It was, <laughs> not worth it. Not worth it's, it. It's it's chip nails, and if your car's full of garbage, yeah, come on. Every time you park to get gas, there's a trash can right there. Just spend 10 minutes and fucking get rid of the trash in your car. But, hey, that's neither here nor there. Uh, we had a fun oh, – oh, go ahead, Steve. I was going to say two things. One, Steve Martin ended an album once by saying uh, basically the moral is always keep a trash bag in your car. And I was like, that is the best comedy advice I've ever gotten. That is fantastic. It is true. But also, I just wanted to add before we do the game, I'm wearing the, uh, the Embrace the Suck t-shirt. Um, yeah. And the reason for it is I have I have decided, look, we keep being told this pandemic is happening, you know, is, oh, it'll be another month, it'll be another two months. Oh, it'll just it'll just evaporate in the heat, which Ben will, but the pandemic won't. Uh, <laughs> and we keep being told all these different things. And I was like, you know what? Mentally, it's better for me if I just decide it's going to go till March. I have picked March. There's no scientific reason, but I have picked March. I figure it's going to go till March. And if it ends before then, I'll be happy. And if not... We can hang out and have fun till March, and it'll be fine. My question is March of what year, Steve? Did you pick a year? Yeah. March. 2026. I thought that was obvious. But... Uh, yeah. That sounds. That sounds good. Uh, so, I, but but I just go. You know, March. I can make it. You know, seven months. If 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 I believe everything will be fine in seven months, then damn it, I think I'll be okay. So embrace the suck. That was uh, Bowers' slogan to begin with. And so I just want to say that is that is what I'm doing from here on out. Not turning my hair blue. I'm not a psychopath, but 
I have no reason to suck until March. Well, That's what I'm doing. Well, it, 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 again, we got to figure out some sort of national strategy. I mean, I'm in St. Louis right now, and it's crazy. Last night at the show, we're like, and again, they do a great job at helium. Everybody socially distanced. Everybody wore a mask in and out. At the I mean, it was whatever. And we're like, so what's what are the rules here? And they're like, well, uh, the bars in the county close at, at 10 p.m., and the bars downtown close at midnight, and then the strip clubs are open until 5 in the morning in East St. Louis. It's like, well, fuck, if there's no goddamn rules, how are we ever going to get this thing No, together? no, no. The governor of Missouri actually just announced uh, that the gyms are still open, but you can't lick the poles anymore. So <laughs> they're really moving on this. Well, I'm, uh, out. You know. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, if, you can't lick the poles, if you can't lick the pole, what's the reason to go to the gym? You know, really, that's, that's what it's about. <laughs> Yeah, there, never, no, the rule is actually you can use the gym, but you have to wipe down the equipment after you use it unless you don't want to. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we can't make you because why would we? Uh, yeah. So uh, to the overnight game was fun and apropos uh, for anyone who was in the uh, the sound check and saw Ben come in as we were getting going, which we love. Thank you, Ben. But the You're overnight welcome. game was reason <laughs> reasons Ben's late to sound check. That was the overnight <laughs> game. <laughs> so. There were some good ones. Uh, another Chris said, Ben was late because Carmel couldn't hear him, and he kept having to repeat himself. <laughs> uh, Andrea Gordon had a couple good ones. She had, Ben was late because his self-love routine takes a bit more time with such tiny hands. <laughs> Say in response to both of those, Carmel just left this morning for a seven-day trip, so you're damn right about that. Leedy, <laughs> oh, uh, Leedy had uh, he was busy buying new AirPods. <laughs> you, you jumped in the water with him. Uh, Smash said he was he was watching old episodes of SDSC for the first time and lost track of what time it was. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! He thinks the show is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it is that Rachel got the reputation for mispronouncing shit. Bowers just said, spoiler alert. <laughs> I just don't read that much. She reads way more, so it's going to happen to more, her more. Uh, Andrea Gordon, another one, she said, Ben was late to sound check because, hey, weed doesn't smoke itself. Yes. No, it does not. Tesha had uh, Ben leave was late because he was breaking into Steve Hofstetter's house to get Judy back. <laughs> I didn't even know Carmel was leaving, so that one fits perfectly now that you need Judy back. This week I could use Judy. I only make love to blow up dolls that are Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, is that the okay. Judy? That was uh, a joke. Yeah, I get it. Who's <laughs> gonna get some D? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, that is. Guys, I'm so hot and on the brink of. of Heat stroke. The jokes are gonna be fucking devil may care uh, today. Just so you know, you're, guys, we you're, gotta you're fix Ben's the AC. Like, just for the, <laughs> the show, well, we have to fix Ben's. Did AC. you see the uh, David Penn? They put on the on the the, uh, the our uh, Facebook post. He, he he listed all the things you need to fix your air conditioning. He, he's like, I hope he sees it. So check that out. The Facebook group does have how do you fix your air conditioning at home by yourself. But the final one for the the game, which I love, it was Jeremy Day, and I think this is really what Ben is. He said. A punterful wizard of ha-has is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's the one that fits completely perfectly with who Ben is. Ben's not late. He got here right when he wanted to be. <laughs> I also enjoyed uh, Jeremy saying he was cooking breakfast at 2.30 in the afternoon to eat while on air. So that was, uh, and he said he is diligently reviewing all the press releases his press secretary has prepared for his approval. So. Uh, Steve just sent them to me. It's a little late, bro. I'm going to forward them to Kanye. <laughs> all right. Speaking of that, uh, speaking of that, we got a, we got a game for today. So uh, the assault on the United States Postal Service, uh, and not in the way that they, like, you know, did it to each other in the 90s, but I mean, like, uh, oh, God. <laughs> the, uh, the assault on the United shots States fired. As, yeah, shots fired as an institution is some super villain shit um, I had earlier tweeted that you give me a hundred years to think of like plots for villainy I would not even have thought of why don't we ruin the postal service so uh, this is some Gotham City shit and so the game today is going to be vilified Trump and the way this works is what else could Trump do to try to steal the election? What other crazy supervillain shit could he do? And some examples could be, uh, for instance, 
he could uh, replace Mike Pence on the ticket with an or with an adorable puppy, or uh, he could make secure online voting that is uh, overseen by Spectrum. So there's lots of stuff. <laughs> so if you want to submit your game entry, as always, the way you do it is you can comment on any of our feeds. But if you want the game entry to count toward our contest uh, and toward the prize, what you do is you Venmo, PayPal, or Super Chat your entry in with at least a $5 tip. And then we will read those uh, at the end and vote on the winner. And then you'll win the prize of a future ticket to this show, a ticket to Nowhere Comedy Club, and a copy of all of our host albums. So that's the way to work. Very cool. Well, before we introduce the front row, Ben, we have two new pa patrons on our Patreon today. Uh, we have John York at the Isolation Nation level and Ooh. Sean Ehrlich, who's in the crowd again or today uh, at the front row VIP level. So good. Thanks, Sean and John, for joining the Patreon. Thanks. And we had a patrons. couple tips that had come in. Okay. Um, D Universe, so he's the one that uh, had emailed you, Ben. Um, he sent you how to fix your AC, so check out that message. And then Dana tipped the show 50 bucks and said, embracing this suck. I have my Embrace the Suck mug. So thanks. Nice. Oh, yeah, Dana. Dana. Awesome. Excellent. All right. Ben, ben winners the front row. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Did I make it to sound check? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you already know the answer to that one, and it's no. <laughs> when, do you, well, when are we starting? <laughs> we, we, we are start. If you could introduce the front row, that'd be cool. Um, oh, you want to say hi to them before we begin? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let's do that. Awesome. Let's, let's, awesome. Let's, let's just give a quick hello to the front row before we begin. See if they're planning anything funny or whatever. Uh, you can turn your cameras on, video front row. It's so great to have you here. You are the heart and soul of the show. We've got Taminator, and we're in some kind of a toga situation with a futuristic backdrop. We've got Zara bending in a onesie, looking about as tired as I am. We've got Sean Ehrlich, who just came back from fighting bad guys in an 80s movie. <laughs> We've got Rachel Jones, just finished entering stuff in her diary. Frankie Angles, Nataro. The angle gets worse and worse every day. And we've got A. West coming in from the east, everybody. Very exciting. Thank you for being with us. Excited to have you here. <laughs> very cool, very cool. We also have two amazing comics, both returning champions. We have Leanne, Lord, Leanne Lords back. Leanne, how are you? I am fantastic. Thank you so much for having me back. We're excited. We're excited. Yeah. So Tyler Gooch this... is back. Tyler. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Leanne. What'd you say? No, no, no. I was just going to say this is taking me away from watching the news. I've been watching Fox and CNN so I could be equally misinformed. about what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> It is fucking crazy, isn't it? But whatever, man. Mm. We're going to embrace this. I can have a good time. Tyler Gooch, you're here. How are you doing, buddy? Good. I'm, uh, I'm dressed to the threes. We're going to have a good time today. <laughs> <laughs> really enjoy the, uh, the shot. We can see uh, two angles of you. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's impressive. It's uh, important to get my comedy comes from the front and the back. I bring yeah, a 180 yeah. approach to comedy. So I think that's good. Both. We'll be able to see you bomb from behind as well. We'll be able goal... to literally see him pull his jokes out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> my goal today is either to do really well or serve as a warning to other comedians to not burn all their good material on their first appearance. <laughs> <laughs> I, I disagree with that. I think you, you got to burn your material on your first appearance or there will not be a second one. So, yeah. Open with your closer, baby. That's the yeah. rules. Don't, don't, don't hold back for the finals. <laughs> it's like, like, anyway. I know I've, I've seen that happen at comedy festivals, like where, you know, because like when we used to, when I used to run Laughing Skull and things like that, where part of the rule was you couldn't repeat material from round to round. And I saw comics just being like, oh, you know, what I'll do is I'll do a pretty good set the first round, and then I'll kill him in the semifinals. And it's like, no, you'll go home in the semifinals. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> and that is what happened very yeah. often. So anyway, my point is, Tyler, we appreciate you doing all your good stuff the first episode. We'll try to make it through this one. <laughs> Thank I, you. I, I was once having sex with a woman, and at some point to talk to her, I don't she believe goes, this. Right? Well, <laughs> uh, you'll believe it after this part. She goes, at one point she goes, give me the rest of it. And I'm like... Rest of it? You think I'm holding back like a distance runner? This is the all of it. What are you talking about? I don't about know the what comedy rest of it was, but when I was when I was a kid, I used to just watch as much stand-up comedy as possible. And I wish I remember which comic it was. Someone made the joke of like, you know, if a woman tells me harder or faster, that's fine. If she says deeper, she better want philosophy. Like I <laughs> love that joke, and I don't know whose joke it is. And it was really, really funny. 
<laughs> Very cool. Well, Rachel, well, we got well, to come in? Yeah, a couple more things. Um, so we had, let's see, Michael Haven tipped the show five bucks and said, you guys are the best. Please keep this up. And then uh, Ram Ramona, 10 bucks, and said, thanks for keeping me laughing during this pandemic. Stay blessed. So Thank you, Ramona and Michael. And by the way, Michael, I'm so sorry, but we actually used all our best material in the first hundred or so episodes. <laughs> here on out. <laughs> so we right, if, if, we, if we're caught up, Rach, I think we go right to a comic. Let's do That's it. Great. All right. Yeah. Coming up first, you've seen our HBO giver, Lee and Lord, everybody. Woo! Woo! Well, thanks, everybody. It's so nice to be here. Well, well, well not really here. I wish I were somewhere right. else. I mean, with you guys, but not in my house. Because I, I really, I really miss traveling. I, it, it was so such a big part of my life. Like, I, I still remember how excited I was to do a show in Alaska. And it, that's where I learned that we don't, we don't teach geography anymore. Because somebody <laughs> said to me, Leah, you're going to Alaska? What's the exchange rate? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure it's one to one. <laughs> one dollar, one caribou. It is a bitch when your money can get up and walk away. <laughs> Just say it. I I I miss traveling anywhere. Like I, I got a chance to go to the Montreal Comedy Festival. And Montreal, you guys know, is in Canada. They're bilingual city. They speak French and English. And I remember a, a gentleman there on the street said bonjour to me, and I said bonjour back, you know, just to be polite. And then he started babbling away in French. Right, like all I heard was blah 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 blah, you know, <laughs> except with an accent. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> when it was when it was my turn to speak, I I said the only other French that I know. I was like je t'aime, which means I love you. <laughs> and that's a little early to be whipping that out in conversation, uh, but it worked. He left. <laughs> <'est> la vie. <laughs> my um my family's west indian i am from caribbean uh, heritage so i got a chance to go home to the motherland i went to england and um <laughs> I, I had a fantastic time there but it was really expensive i mean you guys know the exchange rate at least when i was there it really doesn't work in our favor like it's so bad here's how bad it is uh when i was there i found a pound on the street uh brought it home bought a house <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i i miss it i miss all the traveling because i've i've been home you guys I, like you i've been home since march and i gotta say you like the 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 walk from the bedroom to the kitchen is was not as scenic as it used to be you know so i'm, I'm trying to <laughs> you know, mix it up a little bit. I, I painted Black Lives Matter, you know, down the hallway um, for, for me and the cat. And um, oddly enough, it works. He's a black cat, so he's all in support of that. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, you know, I, I've been trying, I've been trying so hard, you know, I, I don't really know how to phrase this. I, I don't know if it's the pandemic. I don't know if it's getting older. I feel like my, my opinions of things are changing. Like it, it wasn't so important to me who Joe Biden picked for VP. It was more important for me who he didn't pick, right? And then watching their reactions. That was just cruel, <laughs> wasn't it? Like, I mean, think about it. How, how do you feel if somebody puts a camera in your face and goes, hey, how do you feel not getting that epic dream job you wanted? <laughs> um and those ladies were gracious please don't ever do that to me i'm mm, i'm not that mature D just so we're really clear i'm never happy for anyone else's success <laughs> <laughs> you know i don't i'm not happy if you get the job and i don't i'm not happy if you make more money than me i'm not happy if your husband loves you so much he's taking you to paris for your 40th birthday whatever um, <laughs> I can honestly say the best way to, to steal my joy is to tell me about yours. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm learning a lot about myself and I, listen, I'm, I, I'm trying to do better. You know, I'm trying to do, do online dating. Cause you know, what else is there to do right now? Um, cause I don't actually have to see them in real life. That's so great. Um, <laughs> No pressure. But here's the problem for me. Um, I'm actually one of those people that reads the bios. And that's, that's hard because my degree is in English. 
So I, I'm reading, I'm proofreading, I'm editing, I'm sending in corrections. Because <laughs> my thing is like, come on, like how can you be a man of your word when so many of them are spelled wrong? <laughs> I know, I know. This is why I'm single. This is why I'm single. I'm, I'm, I'm stunned at how many angry dudes are on dating apps. Like, really, like they open up with, I don't want no drama. <laughs> I'm like, in my head, I'm like, sir, are you saying we're never going to be this is us? Is this what you're saying? <laughs> you know, occasionally I'll find a positive guy, you know, uh, who will say, oh, I'm looking for a woman who's upbeat, friendly and outgoing. And I'm like, technically, sir, you're looking for a golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> but, but at least you're positive. So I'm, I'm going to try to, to take that lesson to heart. I'm trying to be the best I can be everybody. Like, I, like, I don't, I don't, I'll just say this very quickly. Um, tomorrow me is amazing. Like I love tomorrow me. Tomorrow me is going to get up early. She's going to exercise. She's going to eat right. Like tomorrow me speaks five languages is running for president and is married to Jason Momoa. I love tomorrow me. And apparently so does Jason Momoa. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. You've been so great to have you. Yeah, yeah, we're we're one more time. Yeah, nice more. work. Uh, yes. Thank so you. Great. That phrase, I'm never happy for anyone else's success. That is that is the name of an album. That is a t-shirt. That is beautiful. <laughs> Dude, is can I can I tell you how freeing it was when I understood that's who I am? <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not as nice as I thought I was. Uh, this should be a t-shirt. There was, and, and by the way, if you enjoyed Leanne's set, uh, tip jar is open. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can uh, PayPal at sdscshow.com, or of course you can, uh, you can super chat. But Leanne, there's a joke that you do. I don't know if you do it anymore, but there was a joke that you did that I have quoted in conversation. Oh my! Like, not not as not just as a hey, this is a funny joke, but like hey, this is a great point. It was a joke, and I don't want to butcher it, but it was a joke about being right or being happy. Oh right, yeah, well, yeah. Th th there are books that you read. They say, okay, if you if you have an argument with somebody, you have to stop and ask yourself: Would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> what if being right makes you happy? <laughs> <laughs> That is, to me, that's one of those jokes where I'm like, I love this joke, but I also love this point. It's such a good point. Yes, yes. Yeah, dark so people, I have, I have yeah, yeah. People who live on the dark side, we get overlooked so much. The team Sith needs recruits, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and well, that's I love, why, I love, well, that's why even through the, the lowest lows of his life, Steve believes he's always been happy every day of his life. <laughs> <laughs> He has a shirt that says, of course I'm right, I'm Steve. I mean, you know Someone what I mean? else bought it for me. Someone else bought it for me. And I enjoy it and wear it. But the point is... Uh, I, I, I do love that you start the dating by correcting them because that's really uh, what relationships are about is correcting each other. So might well, start there. And if they can, can take a good can correcting, be, then they're in. Then they're, they're going to they're gonna be good. So like, you know, can I be, be honest who what you I are, do? be whoever you are and wait till somebody likes that. No, here, here's the thing. I was correcting them, and then I would send it to them, and, and I'm like, I would put the caveat at the bottom, like, no, sir, I'm not interested in you. I just want you to look less illiterate for the next girl. So, <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Free service. I, this is a I free also service. Like, I also like the idea that Bauer's like, yeah, you give them a good correcting. Like, that's like, <laughs> oh, I want to correct you so hard. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Some dudes do like that. That's a different dating site. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's corrector. But oddly enough, it's without the E at the end. It's just correct R because it's an app. And then you have to correct the spelling of that. It's a whole thing. <laughs> Rachel, what do we got coming in? Yeah, so we had uh, Jeff Jones, five bucks, and said, I had a roommate who thought you had to take a boat to get to Alaska. <laughs> I mean, you could. <laughs> you, you, yes, yes, people do do you cruises. Have to. Yes, you can. I don't understand even what that means. He means only by boat? He didn't think planes went there? He thought it was an <laughs> island, is what they're saying. Oh, you're saying, yeah, planes, obviously, but I think she and it was an island, right? Yeah, the, the idea we, we of We know like, so little about each other. And by the <laughs> way, that, is, that has come up because I was talking to, I was talking to someone about uh, how, like, Canada was cracking down on people going, on Americans entering Canada, you mm -hmm. know, despite the COVID restrictions, saying, oh, I'm just driving to Alaska. And I told someone that, and they were like, yeah, I mean, you can't even drive to Alaska. I was like, well, no, no, that's not the, <laughs> that's not the point of the story. 
You can drive to a lab. Oh, this. Okay, it's done here. I'm done here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The real question is, do you want to? Yeah. That's the only question one has to ask oneself. Yeah. I knew a person that wondered why Alaska and Hawaii had different weather when they were right next to each other on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, the weather gets separated by those boxes around yeah, it. The, 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 I told him that's the weather line. He, yeah. The jet stream can't cross it. Right, right. It can't go above it or over the equator. Yes, that's exactly why. I have hey, guys, a... quick update from the guy who wanted to be the president of the country, including Alaska. Apparently, you can get to Alaska and still like, kind of attach to Canada up there. I did not know that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shit. Well, I have you know, a, if, you, I, if you have an afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, uh, I have a giant, uh, I have a giant uh, map hanging. Penis, we know. Quit saying. Yeah, I was about to say you got to finish that sentence a little quicker, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the sentence. That's just all. <laughs> you guys got it, right? You guys got it. A giant, I have a giant, I have a giant blow up doll that's really worn out for the last five months. What, what's I trying to say? No wonder it's so hot in your place. Anyway, I have a giant. Talking about, I was acting out as you. I was being you with that act up. I know, and I flipped it on you. Damn it. Uh, so, uh, just like, <laughs> like a blow up doll. doll. So, uh, I have a giant map hanging up in my place. That doll costs extra. Of the contiguous <laughs> United States. And Ooh. I've had people ask me, how come, Hawaii, Hawaii, how come Alaska and Hawaii are not on the map? I was like, because they are not a contiguous. Oh, okay. They're not Konas. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> not they don't touch. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Weird. Rachel, what Rachel. we got coming in? We've got quite a bit. So Dana tipped Leanne 20 bucks and said, you're officially my new favorite comedian. Please come back soon. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. We had Razor five bucks and said, Leanne, I was a security report writer in Vegas for 10 years. So proper grammar and spelling was uh, pounded into my brain. I totally get your dilemma with correcting people and being frustrated with their anger just because we talk more gooder than them. <laughs> <laughs> I had my, my oldest sister once uh, said to me, uh, said to me, you don't talk good. And I just looked at her and I go, do you mean speak well? <laughs> <laughs> this is over. <laughs> Uh, we also had Matthew Plummer, five bucks, Leanne. So, so the funnier you are, the happier you make people, which brings you down. That doesn't sound like that ends well. <laughs> <laughs> like, I she's a comedy therapist. show going, quit laughing. You're ruining my joy with your joy. You motherfuckers. Listen. Just listen quietly. <laughs> <laughs> I see my therapist twice a week. She earns the money. <laughs> Actually, no comics who, uh, who don't make their audience happy. So that works. Oh yeah, tons. Yeah. Shut up, I'm right here, god damn it. I don't, <laughs> every fucking time on this show, can we just? <laughs> uh, all right, we also had uh, Raz tip two pounds. I love Leanne's set. You can buy two houses now. Yes, yes I can now. I was no hoping way. to do an extension on the deck. You are awesome. <laughs> uh, I, I should have figured this out just by realizing that like, a pound there is basically like a dollar here. That's their equivalent currency. And so their dollar store is called Poundland. And that to me was the funniest thing. <laughs> oh, how's it not oh. Pound Town? Are you serious? Come on. They're, wow. Either way, the idea of, of like, you wow. go to Poundland, it's, ama it's amazing. Poundland's I, really good. I get, when I, the first and time now, I saw- And now I have to text my therapist, Steve. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Well, the problem is, if a date offers to take you to Poundland, it's a very bad idea. Depends on the, depends on the date, my friend. Yeah. I've been home since March. <laughs> All right. We also had um, Matt Burnett, five pounds. Land, thanks Ooh. for the laughs. We had Thank you. Thank you very much. Tam, five bucks, and said, Leanne, apparently your tomorrow me and my tomorrow me are in a bigamous marriage with Jason Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> a what kind of marriage? Bigamist. Oh. Bigamist. Yeah. Bigamist. Yeah. So you have two wives. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Bigamist. If it were Denzel, I'd be willing to share. I'm not sure I can share Jason Momoa. We might have to fight it. Have to fight it out. <laughs> can, can we go back to Ben? Ben, what did you think the word was? I've never heard the word bigamist. Yeah, it's, really? it's, 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 
Yeah, oh. when you have two wives. I mean, I've had two wives, just not simultaneously. I thought so it was polygamous. It was not a bigamous. Well, point. polygamous means well, more than one, so polygamy can be two, three, four, etc. But bigamy. So, I knew the word bigamy. I didn't know the word bigamist. Is that it's a word they use a lot in that's Alaska? Is <laughs> <laughs> that Rachel? Okay. Bigamist is the person. Yeah. yeah. It's now, if I had two husbands, that's polyandry. So, well, we may not be married. It just might be a relationship. But you know, what woman wants that? We are we are learning so much. When uh, when my wife and I were about to get married, I told her up front that I was already married to another woman. I thought that was pretty big of me. <laughs> oh. 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 Nicely done, sir. Nicely oh done. Oh my god. Wow. Nice. nice. All right, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> You guys want to tip Tyler for that joke? The jar is open right now. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> just, that was awesome. The sniper man. from the roof just poof, everybody's heads yeah. exploded. That was awesome. Right. So, so, so what you're saying is you're single. What? <laughs> <laughs> is someone is someone who is engaged in polygamy but willing to take on more husbands or wives? Do they consider themselves single? Or are they just like, yeah, I'm currently triple and looking. Yeah. <laughs> Double looking that's, to triple. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, that's yeah. above my pay grade. I don't <laughs> I'm a put I'm an English put major, in my not a math bio major. And have you correct it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Isolation okay, Nation, punctuation. welcome to Social Distancing <laughs> Social Club. I very happy to be here. It's hot. And I um, can't wait. We have a great show. Steve Hostetter, everybody. <laughs> you actually look delirious. I don't think he's even playing a character right now. I think he's losing his mind guys, for real. Guys, here, let's do it. We'll take it from the top. If you guys want to support the show, you can do it from the top right of the screen. It's right the you can PayPal at SDSCshow.com. Oh, or, of God. course, you can super chat. And now I'm going to introduce Chris Bowers, another host. Oh, wow. Ben, 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 sadly, this is the hottest you've ever looked in your life. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'm glad we did it again. Better than your last opening, Bowers. Keep, keep that one in. Before. All right, Rachel. Where are yeah, you? We've, we've got a lot to catch up on. Um, so we've Already got... this early in the show? Yeah, yeah. That's wow. crazy. Amazing. Zara, Zara tipped Leanne five bucks and said, you'll have to fight me for a call Drogo, but know that you're better off without those dudes who can't punctuate. I take strict adherence to the Oxford comma over extra inches any day. Yes! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> the Oxford Sorry. comma. Oh my goodness. Thank you, my dear. Yes. Can I just say the Oxford comma is very important, but extra inches aren't a bad thing. <laughs> no. No, I, I actually both, don't Steve. think those things are mutually both. exclusive. If I can get the comma and the depth, I'm very happy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right. Uh, if you could get the comma, you're willing to give up the period. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, but you're acting a bit like a colon. Anyway, Rachel, what else do we have? <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Exclamation point! Uh, <laughs> all right. What's, uh, what's up? What's up? Your colon, Steve? Question mark. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, we've got Jessica, 20 bucks. Thank you for sassing Steve, Leanne. Ooh. I, I then... didn't know that. Oh, man, is this going to be a Me Too thing now? Steve, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I can't afford had... that lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Renee Hutchison, 10 bucks. Leanne, misspelled dating profiles is also why I'm single, or so I tell myself. <laughs> we had uh daniel graves tip the show and said if the quarantine were a person its name would be creve galaglebe leedy can you draw that <laughs> <laughs> there's also tam uh sent a tip for general while i was stationed on hawaii someone on the mainland asked me if they had atms oh my god <laughs> no joke Oh. No, we can't get shells out of a machine. It's real weird. So they, they don't have them. I literally, all I could think of was like, why wouldn't they have ass to mouth there? Oh. <laughs> That's an island. They're trying to keep everything fresh. Yeah, <laughs> health regulations. It's real, it's real hot and sweaty. You gotta wear a so, mask. You know. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. 
So uh, at we, the moment, what else do we have? We have <laughs> Chris uh, Lebel music, $5. If Steve's junk ever gets leaked to the public, it will only be funny if it's either massive or an acorn. <laughs> <laughs> an acorn? What the fuck shape? All right. <laughs> Fine, I'll show ya. <laughs> uh, Bowers, let me just be the first to say we don't want to see the nuts. <laughs> it's like three. I just look like I have three, but okay. Let's go. <laughs> Acorn shaped penises, you know, multiple tiers that slowly gradiate towards the top where little creatures can hang out there when they get hot. <laughs> Isolation Nation, welcome. <laughs> Okay, can I can I just make a pitch for y'all to fix his AC? <laughs> Everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Please. Cause you're melting. I am. <laughs> All right. Just a couple more things and we can get to Tyler. Matt Burnett, two pounds, also pound world following the Disney model. <laughs> uh, and last we had uh John H Hanosk tip the show five bucks and said I also signed up for monthly payments. I got turned on to this by following Steve. Have fun twisting that around. This is a great thing all of you are doing to help keep some of our sanity. Uh, keep up the great work. I don't think we're going to twist it around. Thank you for coming aboard and welcome to the Anort Acorn Testicle Club where everybody, every month, you get a new acorn-shaped testicle sent to your door. <laughs> I think the dick's wow. shaped like an acorn, but okay. I, we can twist it around like a balloon animal, Steve. It's slightly long, right? You can make a balloon dog or something, or like a bicycle. Or Wait, I need a work. moment to envision envision my acorn that's going to be coming to my door. Here, it looks just like this. It looks kind of <laughs> like this, and then you can turn it into like a party hat, or you can turn it into like a... Yeah, mm, that's how Whatever shapes you, you need, really. <laughs> the squeaking really turns them on when they go... E -R -E -R. Is there making it into a balloon dog? All right, are we caught All up, right, Rachel? we're caught up. We're caught up. <laughs> Let's that's get what to it's Tyler. Yeah. Let's get to the up. show. <laughs> Coming up next, uh, he has an album available on Bandcamp. Give her Tyler Gooch, everybody. Woo! Thank you. Uh, somewhere right now, I like to think there's a truck driver out there. He's driving. A tr he's got a truck full of Quaker oats. He's driving down the road. He flips on the radio. Here's, oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. And he smiles and he thinks, I'm hauling oats to hauling oats. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about doing Zoom comedy shows is that I can tell a joke like that and I don't have to worry about the crowd hoisting me onto their shoulders and parading me through town <laughs> as they're coming. <laughs> this in person, that I cut like four out of 10 sets get cut short like that. So just, <laughs> uh, I've been talking a lot of English on the show, so I'll do this one. I, uh, I'm working on a book right now. Uh, it's a book, I, you, you may be familiar with the Kama Sutra. This is a book for when you have three or more people that you want to get involved in the act. Uh, and it's called the Oxford Kama Sutra. Uh, <laughs> like you, don't, you don't have to use it, but it makes it easier. Uh, just kind of <laughs> everything. I haven't, uh, I haven't been traveling as much lately. I used to travel a lot for this show. I used to drive around all the time and I would see crosses by the side of the road all the time. And it was kind of confusing what those crosses mean. But I figured out if it's a small cross by the side of the road, that means someone died there. If it's a medium sized cross, that means there's a church nearby. But if it's a huge gigantic cross, that means there's an adult bookstore. Uh, exit now. I don't know if you're <laughs> <laughs> driven through the middle of America. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I, uh, I got, I've been, I had to order a gift online for my dad recently. I got my dad a gift. It's a mug that says number one dad. I thought that was cool. And I told my friends about it and they said like, it wasn't that impressive. They said it doesn't actually mean anything. Uh, but I was adopted by gay parents. <laughs> <laughs> it means something in my house. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you got a, if you've got a mom and a dad, number one dad's a participation trophy. But if you got two dads, that's a title belt. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, actually, I, I said I have uh, gay parents. The word gay, I think, is my favorite word in the English language. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, because it, nowadays it means homosexual, but it hasn't always meant that. It used to mean very happy or joyous, right? Which means there was a point in time where we figured out there was a group of men out there who could live completely without women 
and the only word we could think of to describe him. <laughs> they must be so gay. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> no not at all. Oh my god. They must be gay all the time. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's why we say gay and lesbian, because gay means happy, and lesbian is Spanish for not as good. <laughs> Tierney, I was hanging out with a lot of guys today. It was muy bien. What about you? I was hanging out with women. It was lesbian. It wasn't. <laughs> Has anybody else ever done punchlines in two languages on this show? <laughs> like Pioneer or something? Maybe. I'm, I'm not. I don't know. I, uh, my wife and I, uh, we, uh, we are married. I mentioned her earlier. We, we're actually doing something. Some people think it's romantic. Some people think it's dumb. We're saving ourselves for our second marriage. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, not her idea, but uh, that's just... <laughs> <laughs> we actually, we had a kid recently and uh, I don't know if you guys have kids, but it's, uh, it's hard to come up with a name for a kid. Like you want it to be a good name, but you want it to be a little bit unique. You don't have the same name as everybody else, right? Uh, so I feel bad for like somebody with a common last name like Schmidt, right? What are they going to name this baby boy? How about something from the Bible? How about John, right? How about after your father, John Jacob Schmidt, right? Uh, it needs something, honey. We need to put something else in there. Uh, Jingleheimer. We'll put Jingleheimer. <laughs> I swear nobody else is going to have that name. It's going to be completely unique, right? A few, a few years later, that kid comes home from school today. He says, Mom, I met this kid at school. His name is my name, too. <laughs> <laughs> but i got a couple uh we did like some graphs last time that seemed to go over well so i got a couple more of these uh this one this is a, a cup size by volume uh, so like you have a cup is the smallest b cup is bigger c cup d double d is bigger uh but then i don't know if you guys have ever bought a k cup those things are tiny it's hard to be <laughs> e cup you may have to put a little bit more than that in there <laughs> Uh, this is a list of rings ranked by how uh, romantic they are. Uh, this is like engagements. The most romantic, right? Wrestling, not that romantic, but still like wrestling. Prostitution, not romantic at all. A coffee table ring, though, is the only one that's gotten me yelled at by my wife. So that means like... <laughs> right. Just got, just got one, one more here and, and, uh, and, and we'll end it. Uh, this one is... Uh, how, how sophisticated a word is based on how likely it is to start with either an F or PH. Uh, so <laughs> uh, usually these stupider words, these are uh, your F, like farts, uh, Florida, flavor, flave, that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, but, like as you get more sophisticated, it's more likely to start with a PH, like philosophy, like photosynthesis, that kind of stuff. Uh, but this right here, this is the outline. This is the summer where we all said PH fat. I don't know if you guys remember that. <laughs> So I, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave you guys with, uh, I like to leave everybody with like one positive thought in these trying times. So I'm just going to leave you with one thought. And that is, uh, uh, if, you, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. But if you teach a man to give a man a fish, you're the manager at Captain D's right now. I'll give you the hat. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. Tyler, Tyler Gooch. Gooch. Tyler, Tyler, a lot of wisdom. Gooch. Hip jar is open. Ooh. You can, uh, you can Venmo top right of the screen, you can PayPal at sdscshow.com, or of course, you can super chat as well. And by the way, uh, as a road comic, former road comic, I guess, as a former road comic, um, the uh, that adult bookstore joke, absolutely hilarious. There was a study done, by the way, that the more religious a community, the more porn they tend to consume. Like mm -hmm. Utah consumes more porn than any other state in the country. So if you're ever having an argument with someone who's religious and you tell them to go fuck themselves, they're probably going to soon anyway. So <laughs> yeah, please throw in a tip to Tyler. Excellent set, man. Well, thank you. Would have, I would have loved to be part of that research group. <laughs> <laughs> I was the outlier, like the pH fat. That was the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Tyler, right. I just love your wordplay, man. Thank so you. good, so good. But I'm glad you liked it because yeah. it's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to fall back on. By the way, that's a much nicer way, like, to say to a comic, like, a specific thing you like, because sometimes someone will say to a comic, be like, "Oh, good energy." Right. That's not a compliment. <laughs> but but good wordplay is. That's the real compliment. You really did your time up there. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, the first time I first time I ever featured, I featured for uh, uh, Greg Hahn, who was a big Bob and Tom guy, super high energy comic. It was in Northern Indiana, and I didn't do great. It was thirty minutes, but I did my time. Um, I didn't do great. I had one table like me. The rest of them, eh. So I get off stage. I wasn't feeling great about it. As so I walk by Greg, he goes, well, you kept your composure. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, worked, I worked with a comic once who was god-awful. Like, absolutely awful. But Just had, like, once? Free, well, many times. But this one specifically stands out. Shut okay. up. I'm right fucking here every show. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to fix that. Thank you. Thank and you. And so, you. If, uh, <laughs> this guy was absolutely terrible. And you know, it's it's a road feature gig, and they have him do like 35 minutes. He like barely takes a breath during. He's got costume changes, but it's all awful. Absolutely awful. So after the show, I had realized that I had left my book on stage. So I walk over to the stage, and he's cleaning up his trunk full of props, and it's just the two of us. And it's like I can't. Just, I can't not say something. It would be really mean to not say anything. Yeah. So, like, I just did the you've got good energy thing, kind of. I was like, man, I was like, if you keep a frenetic pace, I wouldn't be able to keep that up. And he just goes, well, it's all I got. <laughs> and I really enjoyed the self-awareness. You know, like, there was a moment where I'm like, he knows. So, so Steve, what you're saying is you don't like props or ridiculous outfits and costumes with your comedian friends, you dick? Like, that's I... what this show is, is props and costumes. <laughs> I didn't say that. I just. I don't know. I, I you said he had his ridiculous set, props. Tyler, great his... set. Do we have any tips coming in? <laughs> so many. Uh, people like the pun. So we had a couple before he even started because of that um, out energy. of the gate bigamy. So uh, Zara, five bucks, and said, Tyler, bigamy is still a crime in my state, and I'm teaching criminal law next week. Consider that line stolen. <laughs> it's not stolen if you paid for it so. she just paid for it <laughs> yeah there you go but now By the way, it's not writer's guild if you want to license any of tyler's jokes it's just a five dollar tip yeah. so yeah. Yeah. Dro drop that in the tip bucket and you are free to use anything <laughs> he'll hand out copies of his graphs yeah. i'll mail you the shirt for ten dollars <laughs> That's happened before on the show. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Tam uh, tipped five bucks and said, Tyler, one and done. Headshot. <laughs> uh, we had... Wait, that wasn't a prophecy, was it? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Frank, in the in the chat, Frank just changed his name to be spelled P-H-R-A-N-K. <laughs> See, sounds more sophisticated already. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, uh, Tam tipped again two bucks and said, Tyler, I regretted my early tip after the lesbian joke, but you turned it around with the graphs. I'm a data nerd. <laughs> <laughs> That's, well, my set is, is full of people swinging back and forth between hating and liking me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, have you ever seen have you ever seen one of those things like on a desk those uh like the five steel balls and you take one and kind of do that <laughs> knocks them back and forth that's tyler set right they call me the pendulum of comedy yeah <laughs> we also had um jess tip 20 bucks tyler ha 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 big of me i peed a little bit <laughs> uh, that there. was big of you to admit that <laughs> There was uh, Matthew Plummer, 50 cents. Tyler, you're really hurting Leanne, you thoughtless bastard. <laughs> With all our joy. <laughs> wow. Is this okay. my king? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the defender of the realm? <laughs> well, that was Jason Momoa, but that didn't work out after a couple episodes. No, no, it didn't. But that's my Aquaman. I can't swim, so I'm going to let him save me. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Day, $5. Tyler freaking brilliant with a PH. <laughs> Max Berry, five bucks. Literally, I called my dad to tell him the Hall and Oates joke. <laughs> you should have got off the phone and listened to the rest of the set. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he was like, hey, hey, dad, you know that new sound you've been listening for? Listen to this. He just yeah. up to the <laughs> 
that's the perfect jacket for that, Bowers. That's the perfect. right. <laughs> they call me the voice of dad comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got dad brain for sure. <laughs> Uh, Dana tipped 20 bucks and said Tyler I hate to tell you if you're saving yourself for a second marriage and you have a child there's something your wife isn't telling you <laughs> I'm not a scientist okay I don't know uh, Zara uh, 5 bucks Tyler that less than uh, let's be in joke hit hard no really after watching the last show Rachel's boyfriend and I have been Commiserating and hate googling Basta Musa. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a joke from yesterday. Right. <laughs> we also had um, blah, 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 blah. so much come in. Chris Dushler, ten bucks. Tyler, I've never seen a comedian make me roll my eyes so hard and then laugh so hard in the same set. Thank you. That's, that's the magic. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That is a skill. You got to put that on your LinkedIn. <laughs> We've got Matthew Plummer, five bucks, because his last tip was 50 cents and he meant to make it five bucks. So <laughs> I was wondering, we haven't had a 50 cent tip yet. I thought, no, I was, I was I, like, I thought is he mad about it? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. I was like, he wants to say something, but he doesn't want to say it that badly. <laughs> And then Jeff Jones, 10 bucks. Uh, that set was great. So many puns. Yeah. We had you. Max Berry uh, tip five more dollars and said for not listening to the rest of the set because I called my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for, for fessing up and paying that. <laughs> we had Matt Burnett, five pounds. Tyler, I love the uh, approach to such overlooked targets. You're speaking to my soul with your puns. You're a pun gent. Oh geez! Thank you. That's uh, that's <laughs> flattering and uh, insulting, depending on how you pronounce it. And that's what I love about it. <laughs> uh, we had Frank in our live audience tip each comic five bucks um, and said they were so good. So thanks, Frank. Renee Hutchison, fifteen bucks. Tyler, when can we pre-order the Oxford Kama Sutra? I'll take uh, <laughs> several so I can line them up on my bookshelf with a little bit of state space between each one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on the erotic drawings. <laughs> uh, we had Gary tip uh, Razor, five bucks. This tip is for Gooch, but the following is for all comedians. Laughter boosts the immune system. Laughter decreases stress hormones and increases immune cells and infection fighting antibodies, thus improving your resistance to disease. Comedians are healthcare workers. Uh, wow. Also, healthcare workers are healthcare workers, and they are more important than we are. But thank yeah. you. And I didn't have to spend money going to medical school. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah. Yeah. My uh, my wife actually is a doctor, so I tell her all the time that uh, you know laughter is the best medicine. So I'm kind of better at her job than her. But yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't like to get into it. Out here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We had Tasha tip two bucks and said that she's um, still waiting for the next pun battle with Gooch and the Punisher. Oh yeah, we'll get that. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do it. There I was. Need my, I need my revenge. By the way, by the way, uh, <laughs> Ben just texted. He said he had to bounce for a second because his new air conditioner just arrived. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it I put it over the top. I'm so happy. Nicely done. <laughs> The last couple minutes of this show are going to be great once he cools off. We're going to have to start all over. All right, everybody, back to one. Take it from the top. <laughs> what would be great is if he came back and he was like completely styled, had gel in his hair, looked great, wind blowing, and it's like, like <laughs> until he makes all the difference. That'd be so funny. Uh, we also had Jennifer Newstead, 10 bucks. Tyler, that was great. FJB, 10 bucks. Tyler, I told you this before, but I work as a data manager and your graphs are funny as hell. Thanks for the laugh. Thank you. But what was the first, what was that person's name? FJB. F, uh, I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> but don't you mean PHJB? Yeah, that yeah. was. <laughs> Sorry. He respect that, Careful. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then there was some generals. Savannah Martin tipped the show nine dollars and seventy six cents and said friendly, lovely, sweet reminder about hashtag Team Bowers in the YouTube live chat. <laughs> Thank you, Savannah. 
uh, Leedy tipped the show five bucks and said, Bowers, that was the best uh, Back to the Future reference ever. No one else can ever make another reference. This one wins. License this with $5. <laughs> Uh, I actually am going to go back before he did that in my DeLorean. I'm going to make the reference first. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Bowers. Was, tur turns out she was right. Turns out she was right. Yeah, no, there's, you know, thanks. <laughs> when you know, you know. <laughs> uh, Which is also amazing because that is a movie about people having to be precisely on time. <laughs> is, is that why there are no black people in it? Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, Goldie's the mayor. There's a black guy. He's the mayor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm sorry. The NAACP is calling. I got to take this. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't do that shit anymore, Leanne. Sorry. <laughs> well, and honestly, Leanne, that's one of those things where, like, I don't know the rules. Like, that was a funny joke. As from a person of color, am I allowed to lie? I don't know. So I'm like, Dude, I, have to I go, wasn't oh. even allowed to say it. I, listen. <laughs> I'm gonna get so much crap for that, but it's the comic in me that just had to. <laughs> well, like Wednesday night, we, there's a show at Helium in Indianapolis, and Lucas Waterfell, who's been on our show, who's a he's got cerebral palsy, he's in a wheelchair, and he was on stage, and this woman was talking, and he he like shushed her, and eventually got mean, and he goes, I can see this whole room right now going, oh my god, who do we side for with the 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 cripple or the woman? And there's a cripple yelling at a woman. I want to be a good progressive, but I don't know how, and it just <laughs> blew apart the whole room. It was so fucking awesome. <laughs> But not this he room, said cripple, apparently. by the way. I didn't. I didn't say cripple. He said cripple. See that everybody is shut down. Like I, wow. I wasn't. I was telling his joke anyway. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> we had oh. Bunce tip the show five bucks and said, Rachel, I just noticed the Swedish chef behind you. Damn, how long has that been there? It really mm -hmm. depends on where I'm doing the show. <laughs> yeah, sometimes uh, it's a jet ski, so it's hard to. Keep <laughs> <it>. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We had Daniel Graves tip the show five bucks. Glebe needs to read the Carmel Sutra. Helps bring things along. <laughs> Hear that, Carmel? <laughs> Carmel Sutra. <laughs> you call her Carmel? <laughs> wow. Uh... <laughs> That is the best one yet. We've said her name a thousand times on this show. I know Carmel. You hear that, Carmel? <laughs> you hear that, Carmel? Get about. some apples. We How do you like make... them apples, Carmel? <laughs> we shouldn't make fun of her too much for that. We shouldn't make fun of her too much for that. Rebecca, do we have any super chats? <laughs> Uh, I didn't know what followed that. I didn't. I should have. Whatever. Um, wow. All right. We are caught up. So let's see the game. Let's uh, play. The so the game, game is vilify Trump, right? So what else? What what could he do to try and win the or steal the election? Um, these are some unpaid entries that I really liked, and then we'll get to the audience. So I liked Ron Gould. He said he could change his name to Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> we had Chris Jacobs. Trump deploys National Guard after declaring voters at polling stations rioters. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually work. So. That probably will be. <laughs> and then uh, Shelley had Trump will make an executive order that votes are invalid made by anyone wearing a mask. We can't verify, therefore, fraud. <laughs> now, this game might be a bad idea if any of his team yeah. is watching. We are yeah, I, I was just yeah. thinking, this is this is like when they on Forensic Files when they show you how to make poison. You're like, what are you yeah. doing? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Become a conservative think tank here. <laughs> By the way, I mean, on the on the re-air, when, when this gets re-aired in a couple hours on, on Fox News, like, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> 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 Or or a go to like hey you guys yeah. guess what we can try now <laughs> hey guys uh, by the way I'm sorry that I've been absent for for a little bit the air conditioning people arrived early to fix my air conditioning and uh, it's two guys already a team and they're troubleshooting and I swear to you, I don't know what's going on they looked at me and I said what's happening for days they looked at me and they literally went to me and they said how's your internet doing. <laughs> really creepy, dude. Really, really creepy. 
Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, so now we're... Of... Are they single? Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to uh, be a bigamist. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, there are two Russian gone. dudes. So, so, so they might have gone from infiltrating our election to you infiltrating their erection. We don't know. <laughs> well, Ben's air is wow. clearly not fixed yet. Uh... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Rachel, what else do we got? All right. So these are the entries that we're going to be voting on from here. So let's go to Zara. Hey. Okay. So he's been getting a lot of ideas from our Prime Minister, ScoMo. So he could import a bunch of emus from Australia to start a second great emu war um, and also threaten to put drop bears in every voting poll. <laughs> um, and the other one because you know he can steal our time uh trump reveals that his executive cabinet has included fact checkers db weiss and david david benioff this whole time <laughs> that's awesome um let's go to sean he can uh use the weather machine to make it rain only in cities and swing states <laughs> That's pretty evil. I like that one. And then, do we have anybody else? Somebody else has their hand up. Um, Frank, do you have any? Anybody else? Okay. No. So then, Sam. No, no. everything I thought of just made me sad. <laughs> that's actually, by the way, Tam. That's how I prep for the show. And uh, I guess you didn't think through the green. <laughs> That's me. All right. Uh, so then here's the other one. So we had Lena Bellamore uh, said thanks for the laughs. And then her entry is he'll have us vote by email so that Putin can congratulate him. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Jeremy Day said Trump plans to acquire the Infinity Stones to snap away half of American voters, but is thwarted when neither he nor anyone he knows has a soul. He can sacrifice to obtain the soul stone. Wow! <laughs> that was beautiful, but also as a redhead, I feel attacked. <laughs> uh, we also had... Oh, no, I lost my place. That's okay. While you lost your place, I will share what I'm selling now on my Ben Teague's Roadshow. Uh, <laughs> I've got a uh, bracelet made of Steve's penis, if anybody's interested. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's just made of the excess. <laughs> One size fits none. I found my place again. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing right, motivates yeah. Rachel to read better than that. <laughs> uh, Tesha had uh, from for Raz hire literally anyone but Steve as press secretary. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So we had Jeff Jones. Nothing. He's already proven fact is way stronger than fiction. Okay. Oh, yeah. can't uh, do much more than he's doing. I get it. I respect that answer. Yeah. A uh, Fabian changing the constitution to keep being a dictator without having to go through his democratic stuff. Oh wait, another big put. He did that already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a tough game. <laughs> I told we you to be sad. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Brian Slivka. He said, the Trump organization buys up massive amounts of worthless American desert land. Upon losing the election, Trump plans to nuke the San Andreas Fault, so his land is now... Oh, it's a plot of Beach Superman front. 1. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, my God. And Lois was there the whole time. <laughs> we had uh, Chris Level Music. Trump will go around the country to polling station using his tiny hands to squeeze through the cracks in the machines and cross the wires <laughs> between him and Biden so Biden votes go to him. <laughs> That's so absurd. <laughs> All right, sorry. Brian, uh, Brian Slivka had uh, beachfront property. Trump's not that smart. He just watched Superman the movie. <laughs> uh fjb had 
Trump promises that if reelected, he'll send everyone another round of stimulus money for $10,000. But it turns out it's monopoly money. <laughs> okay. I was actually with, in the uh, but with his Collins signature. <laughs> yeah, he's the guy in the top hat now. Yeah. Uh, Alistair, uh, Darth Va- Vapid declares war on the rebels protesters. <laughs> we had Renee Hutchison. When he loses, supervillain Trump, aka Bratman will lock the Oval Office doors and threaten to hold his breath until the bad man takes it back and lets him be president again. Uh, I'm all for that. (laughs) Which, by the way, I have to quickly say, Rachel just did something very inventive with reading the English language. We've all seen air quotes. I've never seen air parentheses like she just did. That was pretty amazing. That was awesome. Uh, that's actually uh, it's on page eight of the of the uh, Oxford Comma Sutra. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you ever you ever parenthesis with somebody? Uh... Yeah. We had uh, Chris Drusher just say instead of the Ox- Oxford Comma, is it the Howard Kamala? <laughs> Kamala. I, know that. I know that. Uh, we also had Kamala Harris went to. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Tasha. Uh, Tasha Whitman spends extra time in the tanning bed, then holds a press conference telling the world that he identifies as a person of color. <laughs> hmm. uh, wow. Jer- Jeremy Day. Trump attempts to use his uh, use thin sheets of aluminum to rig voting machines. It's how he plans uh, to foil his opponent. Oh, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Supporters already oh. have plenty of foil. <laughs> uh, Gus Walsh. Trump colluded, colluded with uh, fucking Carol Baskin, and then they donate an exotic tire to every house. <laughs> uh, Jeff Jones. Uh. Change his first name to anyone and second name to Butt. <laughs> <laughs> that would win. <laughs> He's already uh, at us. It works. Savannah. Why Martin. didn't you think of that for me, Steve? <laughs> uh, Savannah Martin. Conspiring with Ian instead of Ben to steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> <laughs> And those are all of them. <laughs> all so right. now all Savannah's, they're all going to be Nicolas Cage movies from now on. I love it. Uh, all right. That was great. Um, I liked a lot of them. Uh, I liked the Infinity Stone a lot. I liked the Weather Machine. Uh, I think I go with the tiny hands, though, that can switch the wires in the, inside the machine from Biden to Trump. I think that's the one I'm going with. Uh, Tyler, what was your favorite one? i got to go with the foil one. <laughs> of course you do. Game, yes. game respect game. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what was your favorite? Oh man, I gotta go with Infinity Stones. That was great. All right. All right, Rach. Uh it made me laugh so hard. The tiny hands going through the cracks and missing with the wi- messing with the wires. Nice. Ben. Um being the ponderful wizard of Hahaz, I also <laughs> loved the foil. Uh, to foil his opponent's opponent. Wow. Um, <laughs> love, I love, I love that. I love that one. <laughs> Poor <man. laughs> All right, Steve, you can put one of those two over the top, or you can create a tie with something else, or vote completely unrelated. What would you like? To do? Uh, I'm gonna go with the tiny hands, just because it was so absurd. It was just <laughs> it was wonderfully absurd, and also the one he's most likely to do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> No, if, if that was yours, uh, claim your prize by going to sdscshow.com, shooting us an email, and we'll take care of it from there. All right. Uh, comics, do you have any? Tyler, uh, Leanne, you have any? Uh, this will work for people like Leanne. I thought they could just make the first question on the ballot uh, a sentence, and you have to pick the correct there. And if you get it right, your vote doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how hard she tried, Leanne couldn't well. pick the wrong one to make her vote count it. <laughs> I'm the same way. I would have to pick the right one. I was I was gonna say just confuse the electorate by dropping Pence and picking up Condoleezza Rice as his running mate. Go <laughs> <laughs> cool. right, you got one? No, I don't. 
Uh, I've got a, I've got a couple <laughs> left. Uh, ben, you got any? I have just one, and I don't think it's funny, but I could see Trump doing it, and it's uh, just switching back to be a Democrat again, become pro-choice again, and reveal his actual opinions to the American public to just get the other side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got a couple. Uh, all voting now takes place in escape rooms. <laughs> uh, have Rachel announced the names of who is eligible to vote? <laughs> uh, get Biden to hire me as his press secretary. <laughs> uh, polling place opens at 9 a.m., closes at 9.02. <laughs> uh re reshoot season eight of game of thrones airing in a marathon during election day Ooh, <laughs> ooh. I, I'm personally, I, as politically active as i am i couldn't go to the polls i've got to see if john snow get, okay anyway um and uh finally when people decide to vote in person instead of mail-in ballots because of what's going on remove all the roads <laughs> <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> Second back to the future. Second back to the future. Third, your jacket looks like what Biff was wearing. So. Wow. Um, damn it, now I got to go watch Back to the Future again. If only you had enough time. <laughs> the added bonus uh. of if, if Steve ended up being Biden's press secretary would be that Six months later, Biden would be holding, hosting a pun and prop heavy live streaming comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know what? If he did that, he'd actually get elected faster. <laughs> uh, with planet. that, Biden's mugs will be available in our store. So if you want to pick one of those up. <laughs> Is he also All embracing right, we... the suck? <laughs> <laughs> we hope. <laughs> Also, it's very interesting because Trump's whole whole plan is to try to make the country go back in time. <laughs> that's, that's better than Steve. Not as good as mine, but it's better than Steve. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, so we did it, everybody. We made it to the end of another show. You guys are awesome. Tyler, where do we find you out in the road? Plug, plug, give us some plugs here. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, all that, at, at the real Gucci. Uh, website is tylergoo.ch. <laughs> Uh, you can find my, you can find a link to my podcast there and to my Christmas album, which is available if you want to get some very early shopping done. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Tyler. Leanne, where do we find you at? Um, you can find me at veryfunnylady.com because my parents gave me a first name that's hard to spell and remember. So veryfunnylady.com is the portal to all things me. You can find me that way on Twitter, Instagram, yes. as well as on YouTube. And I have books on Amazon if you guys want to go shopping early as well. Oh, I love it. Dick so, jokes. Yeah. Love it. Yes, yes. <laughs> The words awesome. words should sound like they you know mean what they sound like. Like elixir sounds like how British men give oral sex. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what Elixir. Elixir. There you go. Love Tyler, it. second marriage. I got I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna send you five dollars <laughs> right now. <laughs> I think we've made a match. We've made a love connection today. I don't know. Their, their pun brains are like putting together like, oh, this is great. Yeah, and second marriage for both of us. This will be fantastic. My love to your wife. <laughs> we will see you guys next time. Thanks so much. You guys are awesome. Uh, Rachel, you want to plug your comedy juice show since uh, yeah, without sure. freezing this time? Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we have, uh, I have a show on Thursday. It's a lot of our favorite SCSC comics. You can get tickets at nowherecomedyclub.com. Um, and then just a real quick to catch up on the super chats. Jess tipped the show 20 bucks and said, Rachel, they almost missed it. Um, I don't remember what that was in reference to, uh, but that's okay. Victoria tipped Carmel. the show. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I thought they would. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> um, Did you hear that, Ben? While, they, while you're talking to the air conditioning people, that she mispronounced oh. Carmel's name and said Carmel. Don't tell him <laughs> that. Very funny. Oh, you know, the she the Carmel she Sutra. That. She well, hates yeah, that. Of she did. I'm sure, she does. You know, and then she she already hates that. And then when I when I was dur during the campaign, I uh, I went, got to do Larry King, and, and Carmel came, and I introduced her to Larry King, and Larry King goes, Carmel, nice to meet you. Oh no. Carmel. <laughs> 
better than Gargamel, at least. Well, we're close. <laughs> Through that. Um, cool. We also had Victoria tip the show 10 bucks. Uh, Ismin, five bucks, and said, Steve, when the corona is open, corona is over, I hope that you do a show in Hong Kong. And Zara uh, said, playing this game was so hard because it was like an authoritarian cock wombles version of The Simpsons already did it. <laughs> very cool you can find me at bowers comedy if you have to be in st louis uh you can find me at helium tonight 7 30 and 10 o'clock social distance comedy show uh ben um right after this right now exactly this minute sound check begins for the ubuntu in motion party i'm hosting it's an amazing charity very near and dear to my heart uh, to send children from Watts and underserved surrounding L, uh, LA communities to camp for the first time during COVID, it was canceled, and so we're sending, uh, we've been sending uh, camp in a box kits to their homes with activities for art and theater and fresh nutrition, nutritional produce boxes to their families to have food to eat. Soon we're going to be adding uh, meat and dairy and 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 things like that as well to the boxes to take care of these families who've lost not only income but also the kids don't get the free school lunches anymore. So we're trying to do that. And all you got to do to help out is buy a $10 ticket or more. There's some higher levels you can get uh, at, at NowhereComedyClub.com as well. But you can get into the party where it's 10 bucks. And we got Craig Robinson popping in and Katrina Davis, Brad Williams, and Baron Vaughn. And we got music from people like Nikki Glassby and the Nth Power and Ivan Neville and the, Amanda Brown and the Syncopated Ladies and Shira Elias and uh, the Brandon Brown Collective. Did I already say them? A lot of great people. Uh, right, starting at 5 o'clock Pacific, 8 Eastern. It's going to be a really fun party, DJ, live music comedy show. I hope you'll be there. I'll be, I'll be hosting it. Awesome. Excellent. Steve. We're, hoping, we're hoping that you uh, shower between now and then. There's no time. All right, fair enough. Uh, I will try. I will try. Never stopped you before. That said. Uh, if Ben's going to, for the most sound checks he can be late to in the same day. It's, it's, it's a tough record to get. <laughs> uh, if you want to check out my director's commentary show at Nowhere Comedy Club is tomorrow night, uh, so please get tickets to that. Um, I also have a headlining show later in the month, and I will be hosting for Mike Berbiglia uh, in about a week and a half. So Woo! please check that out. Cool. Berbiglia doing Nowhere Comedy Club for the first time. We're very Incredible. Excited. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. we're super awesome. excited about it. And also, uh, my band, uh, Authoritarian Cockwomble, playing at the Roxy this Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, audience, thank you so much. We did through another one. You guys are great. We love you. We love you. We love you. We will see you again on Tuesday. Rachel, anything see to catch up on? on Tuesday. Nope, here's my armpits again. Good night. Nice work. Uh, hey, fun show, fun show, and I'm excited to uh, once again do this. I, I'm having such a great time with you guys. Thanks so much for being here, everybody. We will see you on Tuesday. I also uh, want to point out real quick that uh, much like the movies, the order of the Back to the Future jokes today, where Bowers was first, mine was second, and Ben's was third. Uh, and just like the movies, uh, Bowers was the best, mine was atrocious, and Ben's was, you know, okay, better than mine. So, same order as the movies. Anyway, you guys are great. Have a good one. We will see you Tuesday. I reject the premise that Back to the Future 3 was better than 2. I thought 3 was pretty shitty and 2 was kind of fun. And it also predicted Trump and had that, you know, it didn't predict, but it had that Fine, Trump Die Hard? Could we do him like Die Hard then? Sure, that works. That works. Yeah. And, yes, we got to wrap it up. And uh, I just wanted to say, uh, Jessica just put in the comments, I should go swim. I don't know how I didn't fucking think of that for the last three days. I have a cold pool. Right there. Didn't think of it. So I'm going to go do that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, no. They fixed the air. They fixed the air. Yay! They fixed the air. What's in yes. the air? We are back in business, so I got to get the sound check. So I think it's time that I make like a tree and get out of here. <laughs> What's in the box you're sending to campers?